As always, we published many things on armyrecognition.com these last week. Well, the three topics we have selected for you in the land sector are these. John Cockrell unveiled a new fire support vehicle based on the Boxer 8x8 armored vehicle. At MSPO 2020 Defense Exhibition in Poland, the South Korean company Hyundai Rotem unveiled the K2PL main battle tank that will equip the Polish army. And the Russian Tornado S MLRS fires a new type of missile. The Belgian company John Cockrell unveiled a new wheeled fire support vehicle based on a Boxer 8x8 armored vehicle fitted with a Cockrell Defense 3000 series turret armed with a 105mm NATO standard tank gun. With a 3000 series weapon station, the Belgian company John Cockrell has developed a new concept of turret that can be armed with an automatic gun in various calibers 25, 30, 35, 40 or 50mm or with a direct fire gun in either 90 or 105 mm, which can also fire anti-tank missiles, the turret may easily be integrated into current or future tracked or wheeled armored vehicles. The standard form of the Cockrell 3000 series provides full digital weapon stabilization and a digitalized fire control system. Concerning the chassis, the Boxer is one of the most modern 8x8 armored vehicles currently available. It includes two main elements, the platform module and the removable mission module. The unique feature of the Boxer is its ability to change rapidly the mission module mounted at the rear of the platform module to meet different operational requirements. Mission modules are attached by four points that can be swapped within an hour under field conditions. Thanks to its modular design, the Boxer can be fitted with different types of weapon systems, including man and unmanned turret, and with a medium caliber up to 40mm that can be used as an infantry fighting vehicle or with a large caliber cannon up to 120mm caliber to provide fire support. At MSPO 2020 Defense Exhibition taking place in Poland, the South Korean company Hyundai Rotem unveiled a scale model of the K2PL main battle tank a variant of the South Korean K2 Black Panther that has been tailored for the Polish army requirements. In January 2020, the Korea Times announced that Hyundai Rotem could sign a deal with the Polish government to develop and produce 800 K2 Black Panther main battle tanks. The design of the K2PL includes a new armor package mounted around the turret and on the whole sides. The roof of the turret is fitted with a remotely operated weapon station and with a 12.7mm machine gun. The main armament seems unchanged. To increase the protection of the tank against RPG threats, the rear side of the hull is fitted with a wire cage armor. The roof of the turret is also equipped with an active protection system designed to counter anti-tank guided missiles, but not high velocity, high explosive or kinetic energy tank fired munitions. The K2PL is powered by a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine coupled to an automatic transmission with five forward and three reverse gears. The suspension of the K2PL consists of seven road wheels instead of six on the original K2. The tank can reach 70 km an hour with a maximum cruising range of 450 km. The Russian Tornado S multiple launch rocket system can now fire longer range missile 120 km also benefiting from high precision. Flight parameters are preset to guide each missile to the target while in flight. An ordinary MLRS guides the package of missiles to one point. They fly in one direction and cover the targeted space. The new missiles can hit a group of targets at a major distance from each other by one salvo. Ordinary projectiles can destroy one, two targets at the area around them. The new missiles have an extended elliptical destruction zone, so a salvo of one upgraded launcher can fulfill the mission previously entrusted to an MLRS battalion with unguided projectiles. The new MRS has GLONASS satellite communications and automatic guidance and fire control system. The system can receive and process information from reconnaissance vehicles or drones. The Tornado S has to replace the BM-30 Smirsh in the artillery formations. This week, Navy Recognition has noticed a particular interest on its website from its followers for the following valuable topics. First, the Belgian Minister of Defence visited the diving school in Zeebrugge, Naval Base. Second, British HMS Queen Elizabeth is heading for Carrier Strike Group X training with Marine F-35s. 
And last but not least, Russian industry Kalashnikov introduced his new hovercraft, Hashka 10. The diving school is part of the land component and provides diving training for all divers in the army. During his visit, the Belgian Minister of Defense, Philippe Goffin, was introduced to the various diving specialties such as engineers, navy divers, deminers, special forces, and search and rescue divers. After that, the minister attended a demonstration of divers' training in the hyperbaric wet pot. as well as an introduction to diving in the swimming pool of the center. From the latter group, the minister was able to attend a demonstration during which a droning person was rescued by NH-19 helicopter's crew members. The visit ended up with an overflight of mine countermeasures vessels currently conducting a large-scale international mine clearance exercise of the Belgian coast. Under the expert guidance of Captain Clowards, the minister was given more information about the deployments, importance and objectives of the Sandy Coast exercise. After a short stopover at the base, the helicopter continued its return flight to Brussels. UK's new carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth has departed Portsmouth, England for a short cruise ahead training drills with US Marine Corps F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Fighters. The Wake Island Avengers of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 211 flew to the United Kingdom last week to train aboard Queen Elizabeth. According to a Marine Corps spokesman, 10 F-35Bs flew to the UK to partake in the Group Exercise, also known as Group X, for several weeks aboard the British aircraft carrier. Group X will establish selective interoperability to address gaps and mitigate risks within the US and UK's respective individual forces. Kalashnikov has recently developed the HK-10 transport hovercraft. The main purpose of the vessel is to transport cargo and passengers at sea and in areas with shallow water and inhospitable coasts. The project is described as an economic universal transport vessel for military and civilian use. It is clear that the demand for it can be not only in the civilian markets but also by Russian power structures. The vessel will be able to take on board up to 10 tons of various cargo and can easily accommodate a three-axle Kamas truck. The overcraft is powered by two Russian engines, each producing a maximum output of 800 horsepower. Such a propulsion system would be sufficient to provide the vessel with a maximum cruising speed of 40 knots. The ship's crew will consist of three people. The declared autonomy is three days. Three topics have retained a particular attention from our visitors on airrecognition.com these last days. The US will dismantle hundreds of AH-64D attack helicopters. The Polish Air Force will operate 32 F-35A fighters. And last but not least, Austria will enter negotiations with Indonesia for the sale of 15 Eurofighters. According to the US State Department, hundreds of aging AH-64D Apache attack helicopters will be withdrawn from US Army's arsenal. The US will try to follow a plan that allows up to seven helicopters to be dismantled per month which will provide years of work for the company that will win the tender to dismantle these obsolete helicopters. According to a circulated document from the US State Department, work on the repair and dismantling of these helicopters is expected to begin in early 2022 and be completed within five years. The possibility of small repairs on specific components of the machines is not excluded, which would increase the life cycle of these components and their use as spare parts. Poland concluded its fighter acquisition program with the signing of a letter 
of offer and acceptance between the US and Polish governments for 32 F-35A conventional takeoff and landing variant jets, with initial deliveries beginning in 2024 and in-country deliveries in 2026. With the Polish government's selection of the F-35A, Poland becomes the 14th nation and the 10th NATO country to join the F-35 program of record. The selection building of Lokin Martin Strong, proven track record in Poland, is a testament to the nation's confidence in the F-35 to meet its national security decades to come. Indonesia has expressed interest in acquiring Austria's fleet of Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jets in yet another surprise defense procurement plan from the Southeast Asian country. The Eurofighter is a rather questionable fit for the Indonesian Air Force, as the aircraft would require different infrastructure compared to the F-16s, Su-27s and Su-30s currently in service. Two options are available for the sale to proceed. First, the Eurofighter consortium will have to issue an hand-user certificate to Indonesia and Austria will sell the jets directly to Indonesia. Alternatively, Airbus will buy back the planes, upgrade them and sell them to the Southeast Asian nation instead. Well, keep in mind that Defense Web TV has more than 1,500 videos on its YouTube channel, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of the latest defense and security news.